Hey, it's me again. Did you miss me? So today I thought I'd do something a little bit different and talk to you about something I know absolutely nothing about. Dating. Geeks and nerds have a pretty famous bad reputation when it comes to dating, and I'm here to shatter those misconceptions with five things you should know about dating a geek. So unfortunately, this world loves to stereotype, and it loves to label. Take the princess and the Wookiee to my ship. And geeks and nerds are often the victims of this. When is it going to stop? Dating is no exception. For some reason, women seem to like to go out with guys with muscles instead of guys like me who don't have any. Well, I do have muscles, it's just not the ones they want. I'm here to shatter some of the myths. And just to make sure we're being fair, this goes for any gender or sex. So, woohoo! Equality. Number one. Commitment. Besides the fact that we're really geeky and don't have a lot of suitors, we're going to be really committed to you. Want to know why? It's hard to memorize the dialogue for three straight seasons of Battlestar Galactica if you're not committed to the show. Did you ever watch Battlestar Galactica? No. No? Then you were an idiot. And sometimes things don't always go our way, but we stay committed because we care. That's great news for you, so you know that even if you cheat on us, we're probably going to stay committed to you. Because we put all our time, effort, and commitment into that one show or game franchise until we're left utterly spent with nowhere else to go. Then we find something new. But by then, the show or game franchise is done with us anyway. Ah. Number two, emotional involvement. I think I screamed louder than Luke Skywalker when his hand was cut off when I saw Empire Strikes Back. You can understand that we care about our characters in these geeky shows a whole lot, so we're gonna care about you as the person that dates us. You're not gonna see us get stoic. Love won't save you, Padme. Only my new powers can do that. If we cried at the series finale of Babylon 5, imagine what we're gonna do when you tell us you love us. If you ever do, which you probably won't. But that's okay, because we probably already found love on the World of Warcraft server. As long as that character avatar is a female, I'm in. <laughs> Another thing about emotional involvement is we won't take it for granted. When our Game of Thrones characters get killed off, we get really pissed. It's because we care about them a whole lot. They can't kill us. Even though we know we're going to get systemically abused over and over by that show, we still watch it, we still remain committed, and we still stay emotionally involved. Look away, Khaleesi. Yeah. What does that tell you? It means you can be a crap significant other and we're still going to be emotionally into you. We're like puppies. We'll love you no matter what. Number three, intense focus. You have no idea how hard it is to beat Mega Man X. Your thumbs are bleeding, your fingers are sore, you haven't eaten in three days, you've shit yourself multiple times, but we're gonna stay there in front of that console and TV until we beat the game. The third one is here, God damn it! That's commitment that you won't even find in the Marine Corps. All right, you'll probably find it in the Marine Corps, but you won't find it in the Army. All right, you'll find it in the Army, but you won't find it in the Air Force. Ah, fuck it, so it's not that big a deal. But I challenge you to find any bro dude in a gym who's as committed to his deltoids as I am to my games. <music> Intense focus is what separates the casual gamer from the serious geek. Remember, if you're dating a true geek, he or she is going to be incredibly focused. Number four, one-liners. Do you remember this? We were supposed to finish the crew evaluation reports. Of course, come in. How about this? You are the most beautiful woman in the galaxy. Or what about this? You are so little and petite, but to me you are extra, extra sweet. Geeks idolize people like this, so of course we're going to imitate their behavior. I've got all sorts of one-liners. Girl, you're so sophisticated, you don't even show up in a level 3 diagnostic. Baby, my feelings for you are so nuanced that counselor Troy couldn't even figure out by staring into the depths of my brain. If you haven't heard of my love for you, you're probably living in a Class M planet outside the Fallopian star system. Fallopian star system? <laughs> oh, that's horrifying. What would Sigmund Freud say about that? Also, geeks like to quote philosophers. Look, 30 second theory. Literary theory. Introduction to Attic Greek because, man, that's useful. 30 second philosophy. More Attic Greek. Theories of social order, and one box of unopened condoms that's in my drawer that'll probably never leave. Anyway, back to the point, one-liners are cool. So if you're a sucker for a seductive line, 
date a geek, you'll get lots of them that aren't even close. Because laughing out loud makes the pain pass by, and laughing at yourself makes it pass even quicker. Number six, we're really emo. Scratch number six was just a joke. Number six is we're also really funny. Besides, you look good in a dress. That was also a joke. We're not that funny. Anyway, if you ever dated a geek or a nerd and want to tell your story, leave a comment in the section below. And make sure you subscribe. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> but you actually